I don't think I'll ever forget my train ride home the day that everything changed. It was Thursday, March 12th, and the city was on edge. In my Uptown A train car, everyone could read each other's minds as we awkwardly tried not to make eye contact or get too close to each other. As I'm sure you all know, our world is in a state of crisis right now. Most places are quarantining due to the coronavirus pandemic, and everyone is affected in their own way. Today, I'd like to focus on teenagers, and specifically how we are being affected in this uncertain time. Teenagers in isolation are more likely to become depressed and lonely. Quarantine will most probably have long-term effects on our mental health. I've been making sure to reach out to my friends and classmates almost every day, either over social media, text, or FaceTime, and I've heard some mixed results about how everyone has been feeling since quarantine started. For the most part, everyone has been somewhat anxious and bored, missing their social lives. For some people, however, it's more extreme than being bored. For kids who do not have the best relationships with their parents or guardians, this time of isolation can have awful outcomes considering mental health. Right now, most kids are very depressed and anxious. We feel alone. Most of the time, us teens turn to each other. We know that we're all going through similar things. Now that we don't get to see each other, many people don't have anyone they feel comfortable talking to. This can be detrimental, especially for those who have a history of suicidal thoughts and panic attacks. Social media also plays a role in making kids feel sad or insecure. We all try to show the best versions of ourselves online, making it easy to get lost in that illusion. Some kids don't get up until 12 to 4 in the afternoon, not putting any attention into their online schoolwork and any responsibilities they have. They don't know how to get themselves out of this funk, and they need your help. In a perfect world, every kid would have someone who they trust and feel comfortable with that they could reach out to. They wouldn't need to be the ones reaching. There would be adults offering support. I've not been seeing enough of this since last month when the distancing started. It's up to teachers, parents, grandparents, cousin, fr cousins, friends, etc. to reach out and make sure everyone is safe and okay. As teens, we are at the height of our emotions. An article by Dr. Carl E. Pickard states, The adolescent is just an adult in training, and the tools for emotional management learned with parents will be carried forward into relationships later on. This is why it is so important that teens have support systems in these hard times. How we learn to problem solve now is something we will carry with us the rest of our lives. We must be accounted for. We must be recognized. Even without a global pandemic, teenagers struggle in extreme ways. We are confused and hurting. Although most of us don't have bills to worry about or a mortgage to take care of, we have other problems that also matter. It's vital that adults think about that. If you know any kids at all, make sure you reach out to them. Even if it's just a simple text, you could help us feel cared for. Even during these times of isolation, we still, much, we still must stand together. Thank you.